Hello, my name is Makako Tamerice and I'm a member of the Federation of Communities of Darmanur. I have been living here for almost 28 years, but the community is much older. It's already 46 years old and it's situated in the north of Italy. Um, the solution I want to talk about is called the Credito, which is a complementary currency and um, the need to have a complementary currency inside of Darmanur started really from the beginning, 46 years ago, so a long time ago. At that time, we decided to, that we wanted to use the complementary currencies for different reasons. The first one was really identification, because we created coins on which there were symbols, and these symbols, they would circulate amongst the people, so really creating identification that was very nice and very important. Another really good reason was that we did not want to use um, money that has been used for purposes that we don't agree with, like um, criminality, like um, exploiting people, like um, wars, um, financing wars and all these kind of things. We really did not want to invest in these kind of things. So we decided that a complementary currency in a certain sense is clean because it has not been used in these endeavors. So um, that was one reason and another reason was the economic reason. And to understand the economic reason, I can give you an example of Johannesburg in South Africa that is a very easy to understand example. There was a moment when the in Johannesburg they would give subsidies to the regions and it would last uh, it wouldn't take more than 24 hours to have the money back into Johannesburg as if they, they were linked through a stretching that was because there were no professions and no services available inside these regions and so the people went immediately to Johannesburg to buy whatever they needed to buy a television to buy this to buy that so the, the government of Johannesburg, of South Africa, they decided to make an, um, an experiment. They said, we will give you the double of the money, but you have to use it inside of your region. You cannot go out. Only you can exchange it with other regions that are similar to you. So that actually created new professions, services, not immediately, but a little at a time. And it allowed the region to thrive again and to, and to become independent. And this is exactly the same for a complementary currency in any situation, because as you keep the complementary currency inside the circuit, you really enhance and enrich this circuit, because um, you create services, you create you create professions, you create many different things by keeping the money inside a circuit. When you think about um, when you go to a supermarket, where your money goes to, it goes immediately to the multinationals. So rather keep it inside a bioregion, inside a circuit, inside a community through a complementary currency. And um, yeah, and another reason is really that we did have more liquidity in, the, in that way because uh, you, um, you needed to have the money backed up by euros now before it was lira, but um, still you could invest them in houses or in something else because you needed to have them backed up. So you had more liquidity in a certain sense. That was another reason that was very useful. And in the beginning of Darmanur, we had a non-convertible creditor and then it became convertible because we started to have really big markets. There were thousands of people coming in certain years. It was beautiful. And the people, and we wanted them, of course, to buy with the creditor so they could exchange the lira into creditors and then they could exchange them back when they left uh, Darmanur. And um, at that time, uh, one creditor was worth 1,300 lira, so it was worth more than a lira. And uh, then when, we, the, when the euro came up, we decided to make it at the same value. And since then, we have been using it like that. But we have been using the creditor not only inside of Darmanur, because we have conventions with uh, other businesses outside of Darmanur, like the gas station, um, the shoe shop, the hardware shop, and many, many other shops that do have the advantage 
of having clients, more clients and sure clients all, from all of us from Damanur. We are more than 600 people living here, so it's quite useful for them. And they will give us in exchange a discount. The only problem with this is that we would have hoped for um, uh, that the that there would be an exchange of services as well, so that we go to the shoe shop and the person who owns the shoe shop comes to our crea and maybe takes a session um, in our physio crea, so like physiotherapy or something, or they buy some food in our food shop. We have an organic food shop, a very good um, organic food shop. So these were our hopes, but actually. Um, over time we have seen that this has not always happened. Actually it happens very little. So what it means is that we uh, we use the creditor and the, the business people, they, they, they try to exchange them immediately back to euros. And this is something that we want to think about and this will also uh, be a new idea because we are really thinking about going back to a non-convertible credito especially in these times of COVID, it's so important to really keep the money inside the circuit so that you can exchange all the services inside the circuit and inside of the bioregion so that you can um, create exchange with other farmers and so on and so on. But in this way, uh, we, want to, we are thinking about recreating a non-convertible uh, credito again. And this is something that we are thinking about at the moment, because especially for some shops, it has been a really big problem, like especially our organic supermarket, because the Damanurians would all go in with their creditors and buy stuff. But in order to buy stuff from outside of Damanur, they needed euros. So sometimes they were really in difficulties because they did not have enough liquidity and it, it created a kind of a difficulty of exchange. Another thing that I would like to state is that um, it makes sense to have a complementary currency only if you have enough people and you have enough production. So if you have a kind of self-sufficiency uh, um, where you really do have products that you can exchange and not only services because otherwise it, what happens is exactly what I described before that the people who do have products they get all the credit, the, the complementary currencies, and then they have difficulties in exchanging them. So there needs to be a balance, and we, there needs to be found a balance. And complementary currencies work only in uh, if you have enough people and enough production, or services and production. So that's about um, our solution, about the credito and about the complementary currency of Damanur. I hope this has been useful and we are very happy to share with you our experience of 45, 46 years. <laughs>